Ladies and gentlemen, good evening. It is my great honor on behalf of the residents of Washington, D.C. to welcome you to your nation's capital. Be proud. Thank you. Be proud of your nation's capital. We're growing, we're investing in the things important to our city, and we're representing our country around the world. This conference embodies so much that is great about the city of Washington. It is so wonderful to see Americans from all 50 states of our union and Washington, D.C. What we hope to be the 51st state of our union. While you're here, we ask for your support too for full democracy and statehood for the residents of your nation's capital. We know that you are 18,000 strong, Democrats, Republicans, people from all backgrounds and beliefs gathered here to support the very important relationship between the United States and Israel. Your number is so great uh, that when I was speaking to you last year, it was from the Convention Center, and this year you've moved to the arena. What you will do here this week when you go and talk to your representatives on the Congress is so central to our democracy. You've come here to learn, you've come here to engage, and of course, you've come here to persuade and hold those who represent you accountable. You will discuss issues that are important to America's foreign policy, and of course, issues that are important to our leadership in the world. I know that you will compel all the members of Congress to take hard issues head on and deal with them to work through gridlock and do the things that are best for our country, and to do everything in their power to keep our nations safe and strong. And I am proud to be here on behalf of all of the people who call D.C. home to support and welcome you to your nation's capital. Now, I know you have a lot of work to do while you're here, but I hope you'll take a chance to see our neighborhoods, to visit our monuments and memorials, and to talk to Washingtonians about life here in our city. Good luck and Godspeed.